Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I know that everybody's points are different. And so I have learned that what I see as a Paragon player, you don't necessarily see as a 22 hour event. So assuming you can see a 22 hour event in the next three days that involves event quest completion, this video is for you. And I want you to know that I am not boosted. Although I am going to change my profile pic to my favorite Red Hulk since we're talking about science champs. Although, you know what? Scratch that. Because we are featuring Quake in this video, my original Bay, we are going to go all the way down to the Quaker and check out. So I, I'm going to reverse engineer this. I'm just crossing over the node for the Thronebreaker difficulty. I always get these two tier six basic, 146 extra in my stash, it's kind of crazy. You can see that my synergy team is OG Hulk, Deadpool X-Force, Quake, Nick Fury, and Hercules. And I'm gonna choose the Ebony Coleslaw path for this video. I also have one more soon to expire energy refill in my overflow which is why I am going to record this video using it. And all I'm going to do with my Ascended Quake, again, not boosted, and check out she still gains between the Restoration Kit Synergy and my Mastery Setup, three health per tick above what she's losing. So she's always going to stay at 100% health. And all I'm going to do is whole block. And then every time he gets stunned, I'm just going to keep doing it. And you, you'll you notice I was approaching Falter. Doesn't matter. Does not matter. And there are over 30,000 health that tick away. 33,000 per tick. So we have a 5-star that's melting a 7-star like it's a 4-star. A maybe even a 3-star. And you can do this with, internet phrases, one finger. Because once you hold block, especially when you're at the corner, but you can just hold block, and I like to dash back, just stay in this corner. Let the defender come to you. Sometimes they'll dash back. Oh, no, I'm only doing 27,000 damage. <laughs> just kidding. And you do not have to be a quake expert or even a quake novice. You just have to know how to hold block. Just hold your, I do my uh, right thumb down on the right part of the screen and I just repeat the tap and that is another I mean look at this damage one hit technically at the end 27,231 times 15 this is such a hack that not only is it justifying why this is the easiest event quest points of all time you never have to worry about getting hit you're, you can take it, and this is why everybody should have sent their five-star Quake when they get a chance. Because I doubt we will see anytime soon, if ever, a Quake above a five-star rarity. They are not interested in giving us a six-star Quake anytime soon, which means, of course, they're not going to be interested in giving us a seven-star Quake ever. But they know that with nodes like this, and, you know, Sabretooth can be pretty annoying with the region, uh, how about just no region? How about you just hang out in the corner and every time he stuns, you just hold block again and you just chill. Look at that 30,160. Just casual damage. And I would consider myself to be an above average Quake player. Not the best, but above average. You do not have to be above average here. It is that easy. Let's take somebody like Terax. You know how you normally have to just back out and wait for his power to expire unless you want to get wrecked. Not with Quake. With Quake, you start the damage and the stun immediately at the beginning because he is gaining that as he's losing power. It's the ultimate Terax hack. And there is 27,000 damage right there. And of course, you can charge it while he's being stunned too. So you're always going to be over 10... What, aftershock charges? There's the 30,000. Just look at how fast. These are 30-second fights with defenders 
that on paper should at least be a little annoying. There is another 30,000. I'm as relaxed as I've ever been recording a video. I'm laughing at the idea that this, of all things, is a seven-star Thronebreaker path. And this was traditionally a node that before I used Quake, I kind of hated because the unblockables make dodging and dexing specials much worse. But I plan on showing you at the end of this video my favorite gladiator counter, which is like, to me, Ronin 2.0 because even though my five-star Ronin is ascended and is SIG 200 and he has been valuable in Battlegrounds and other game modes. I mean, look at this. Thor Jane Foster's got no chance. 32,000. And again, another one, <laughs> one hit KO, technically. So if, uh, this is just so easy for so many points. I cannot say this enough. It is the easiest event quest points in the history of MCOC because it's worth the most. You're getting the most points for the least amount of work. And yes, it takes energy refills if you want to do this over and over. But if you're like me, I'm just going to push him away. I'm going to be a little pushy. <laughs> uh, if you're like me, you've got so many energy refills that are constantly about to expire from peak milestones and so many other aspects of the game that it's not a big deal at all. I mean, I know I probably sound like a broken record, but how easy is this? That was a two-hit KO that time. All right, so watch this. I could quake and shake with Gladiator, but with varying degrees of success. So my goal is to bring in my OG Hulk, even though I've got Hercules, who it's going to try to tell me I should use. And yes, he's a great option, but Hulk is just a ton of fun in this fight. The only thing I might have to do is if he fires off that special one pretty fast right here, I might have to dance with him, but hopefully not. Okay, so since he didn't fire that special one, he may have just lost his chance to hit me the rest of the fight because I am just going to fire back-to-back -back special ones and keep him stun locked. Like I said, it's like non-Hawkeye Ronin 2.0, and I'm going to bring in, just for fun, my Relic, and fire off another special one, and he never got a chance to move after that. And the only 10% damage I lost was from the two recoils on special one, but who cares? He's got full health starting the fight because I used Quake for every other fight. 31 second fight against a seven star boss. Check out how many points I now have in event quest completion from just doing what I did on this video a few times. And also, by the way, that's a uh, level four health potion that popped up for the first time in this experience slash experiment I now have 126,000 event quest completion points and there's still almost 12 hours left almost half of uh, over half the 22 hour event since half is technically 11 hours how cool is that and I am not some wizard at this game but this is also why you should have sent your five star quake as soon as you can and put some six stones into her because why not YouTube I hope this helps somebody get a ton of more points in event quest completion, get those awesome rank rewards. I'm pretty sure this will be enough for me to get the top 10%. Maybe not, but hopefully. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Have a good one.